morning and welcome back to my channel. Um, so, might have seen some of my pictures on uh, my Facebook page or my Instagram page uh, about my modified surge tank. So, got the bright idea. Let me just explain my my fuel system to you guys. So, uh, I'm going to be running E85, so I, I had to make it a compensate for that, and I'm going to be running boost, and the hard lines, found out the hard lines that are on the car originally do not fare well to boost. So, we'll start from the front of the car, working our way back to the tank. So I have a uh, modified pair of uh, 6G74 3.5 rails with the dash 6 AN lines. Um, I also have a full set of 1200cc. Uh, working my way from there, I will have fittings. So I have Russell fittings. Uh, I have a few types. I just ordered a few more. I ordered a 90 degree one, but I have a straight dash six Russell fitting, uh, part number 610020. Uh, it's red and blue. Uh, that's the color I'm going to go with for my fuel system. And then I have a hose 45 degree dash six swivel. It is part number 610090. So, uh, yeah, I just have, you know, figured out which fittings you need, uh, what angles you need, um, and go from there pretty much. Uh, along with the fittings, I have a flex fuel, AEM flex fuel sensor. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going with a standalone ECU, uh, AEM, so I ordered an AEM Flex fuel sensor, it just helps with the E85 and make sure that the balance is correct every time I go so I don't have to uh, pretty much play mad scientist and determine if one tank is different than the other. This kind of corrects everything for that. So I have an AEM flex fuel sensor. With this, the part number for this one is uh, flex fuel sensor PN30-2201. Now with that, with the whole case, you get uh, a few things. You could choose between a barbed in uh, fitting or you could choose between a dash six push on EFI uh, type, uh, type of fitting. So I went with the dash six push on. So they're pretty simple, uh, you know, dash six in. They just unscrew, they have a little slot right here so you can kind of push it on there and there's this ridge right here that goes on there. Same thing with the tank and we'll get to that. So it has this little ridge right here that goes on there. Uh, this part, let's put that back. So this part right here just goes right on there. It's got that opening almost just like an opening. It just goes right on there. You just push it on there and it clamps it down. No needs to worry about it slipping, no needs to worry about clamping or anything. So uh, AEM supplies you with two of those uh, and I recommend these over the bar type because chances of you having any malfunctions with these are slim to none. They are pretty good. So along with two fittings, two blue, uh, I believe they come in black or blue uh, depending on where you buy them, comes a plug that and pins so you can pin plug everything yourself so you don't have to worry about soldering or anything but you do, will need a clamp uh, and it comes with three plugs the instructions tell you which plugs to go to it's power ground and then the uh, output to the ECU uh, there's the little plugs in there so yeah uh, it's pretty simple um, now for mounting it, I'm still trying to figure out how to actual mount it. I think you could buy a little mount. I might make one, figure out how to make one, or just put a strap around it. I still need to figure out where I am even mounting that. So let's talk about hoses. No, not those kind of hose, but braided line stainless steel hoses. Uh, 
hooked it up. I picked these up from Street Tomb uh, Motorsports. Uh, they're 20 foot. You can get them different lengths. I went with 20 foot. Might need more than 20 foot. Might need less. But I will still have extra. Uh, these are great. They are E85 friendly. Um, I went with a dash six return and a dash eight feed. Uh, so we will see how good those go. The dimensions, I mean, you could tell, tell which one's much bigger. Uh, and then this is pretty much how it's going to be set up. Now this is the line that I made that goes from my fuel rails to my fuel pressure regulator. Speaking of fuel pressure regulator, I have a uh, fuel lab, uh, just you know, one of their basic little miniature uh, fuel pressure regulators. It has a dash six uh, endings on them, little unions on there so that I can hook it straight up to and I won't have to worry about no uh, barbed ends or anything. But this I made uh, when I did the swap originally. I made this so it's kind of, you know, what it's going to look like. A little bit of shorter version of from the tank to the front of the car but this is pretty much what it's going to look like. It's going to have the fit fittings on the, uh, one end and you know just all the way down so it's going to look pretty nice. So let's get to the tank. Now like I said I modified the uh, the search tank a little bit to fit my needs. Um, I didn't really want to just put the hose on there, clamp it down, and worry about that. The uh, the return on here is kind of small, um, not compared to the three eighths. Uh, feed high pressure side but the low pressure side for the return is kind of small and it would definitely be restricted uh, and you know just clamping it down I would have problems because you know I don't want to crush this or whatnot so I am using uh, the I'm still utilizing the feed side of it it still has this barb just like I showed you guys on the flex fuel sensor it has this barb that I'm going to be utilizing the same type of EFI uh, push on you know fitting so I put that on there that goes on perfectly nice solid you know connection now I had to modify the return a little bit now it's not completely 100% but I did take a um, it's a it's a dash six little dash six union with a straight cut on one side it's not long enough and it says actually for my fuel pressure regulator but I wanted to get the dimensions right and I'm still gonna have to you know trim up a little bit here but I ordered a much longer one made for a bulkhead or a fuel tank uh, or a fuel cell so that I can put it down there it has little bolts that I can screw up and I can pretty much clamp it between the two so I ordered that this is just you know was for placement purposes only so I can make a line that goes in here and it goes back down I'm trying to make it almost as fully stock as possible but with a little bit of modifications now the opening for this is a much bigger opening and you could pretty much get some good amount of fuel return from that so along with that that is the top of it it's gonna look a lot better once it's in the car it's gonna go in it's go let's talk about fuel pumps this is a 450 Wall, uh, Walbro high flow fuel pump to push as much power as I'm possibly going to be pushing. The 255 that I have on there now will not cut it. So here's a surge tank, pretty much goes into there. The Walbro goes right in, fits perfectly in there. The only thing is you have to modify it to actually stay in there, and you can do that in a number of ways by either zip tie or or what have you and then the filter goes right off here and boom so it goes up there wires uh, you might have to modify some wires so if you're not going to modify wires uh, you might want to do something about stopping power right so uh, we talked about my fuel system now let's talk about stopping the car after it's you know relatively went down the track or whatnot so I recently picked up some Brembo's so we got a four piston front from an Evo 8, Evo 9. They go right onto the car a little bit, a uh, little bit 
behind them, you got to get a Evo 8 rotor, Evo 8 pads, and you know, make sure that your offset on your wheels bigger, and then a two piston rear uh, from an Evo 8 Evo 9. Now, I know they're two different colors, and I will be taking them and getting them rebuilt and powder coated with brand new rotors, brand new pads here shortly, probably next week. So, I'll definitely upload a video. Uh, taking them up there. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you made it this long. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helps anybody out there that's looking for an upgraded fuel system, have it be, you know, high compression, uh, supercharged or turbo for your 3G. The intake stuff kind of lurks for uh, the, the four cylinder guys as well. Um, and really anybody that has a stock tank that wants to modify it, uh, there are little avenues and, you know, out there instead of having to get a fuel cell or actually paying big bucks to have a surge tank, uh, you know, installed. So I thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it, share it, and subscribe so that you guys know uh, when I upload videos again. And thank you and have a wonderful day.